see you, girl. This is like the realest video, like, oh my god, this is going to be like, I don't even know what to say, the realest video I've ever posted. I posted on my Facebook the other day, um, you know, I was going to do a video basically just to give people inspiration, um, to keep going with their natural hair journey, especially when you're in that awkward stage or when you just big chops. Um, I mean, I've been there, and I know how it feels to, like, almost give up. If it wasn't for you guys, and, you know, kind of like the pressure of doing videos and posting pictures for inspiration, I'm pretty sure I probably would have slipped up a few times. But because of you guys, I just have motivation and inspiration to just stay natural. And, like, at this point, the length my hair is right now... I don't even care if my hair grows anymore. I'm satisfied with this length. Um, but today, I have, I'm having the best natural hair day ever. This is like the best twist out ever. And I mean like, oh my god, was, I don't even know. I don't even care if I sound like I'm bragging because I am. I freaking love this twist out. And I had to come to you guys with these products that I used. I haven't done a video on this yet, but I'm definitely going to do a video because this is like amazing um so i was being lazy today and i wasn't even going to do a video i would, figured i would do it later tonight or tomorrow to give you guys inspiration i will do that video but i had to come to you guys with this twist so out. you have bad hair days but you have good ones and i'm freaking having a good one and i had to share this with you guys and the product lineup that i use for this twist out hopefully it'll help you guys and it's so simple I okay let's talk about how I got this hair um and I'll get into your questions and everything in the next video but hopefully this is enough inspiration for you guys but anyway so my hair um I washed it I think two weeks ago and um I had done a twist out or something and it was okay I did mini twists on it too took those out I didn't feel like washing my hair um and it was too soon anyway and there wasn't that much product build up so I was watching natural 85 on her get ready with get ready with me video and she basically had an old twist out she got in the shower without covering her hair or anything um, so she basically used the shower and not even like putting your hair under the shower head, but just being, you know, free, not caring if your hair gets wet or not. Um, so that shower kind of acted like a mist of water instead of you using a spray bottle on your hair the steam from the shower and then the sprinkles of water that just naturally um, got on your hair that was adding moisture back into your hair so that's what I did so thank you natural 85 you inspired me to just let loose in the shower me being in the shower really added moisture to my hair more so than you would think like you don't have to drench your hair to have moisture so I was satisfied with my shower um and of course my hair did like shrink back up <laughs> it was so shrunken and it was okay so immediately after that I used my cube reduced steamer just to add a little bit more steam to it and then I immediately went in with the lock method the first product that I put on my hair is Alakay Naturals yes I'm shouting out Alakay Naturals today because that's what did it is this Alakay Naturals so I used the lemongrass leave-in conditioner I sprayed this all over my hair um, and then I went section by section and added the other products. So the next um, product I used is their Shea Yogurt Moisturizer. So I took really big chunky sections. I probably had about 10 twists in my hair. Um, so I took a section, I used the Shea Yogurt um, just grabbed some, warmed it up in my hands by rubbing my hands together, and then I just did the praying hands and added it to my strands. Um, after that, I used the Pomegranate Passion Hair Elixir from Alakay Naturals, 
and this really loosened up my hair because using the moisturizer it kind of makes your hair kind of stiff because that is a thick product but then when you put the oil it loosens it up and it really coats your hair and makes it like butter like for real um so at that point my hair was easy to detangle i didn't detangle it with a comb or anything i just did finger detangle praying hands and then I twisted my hair and did my hanging bantu knot and I had about 10 of these in my hair after all of that my parts were exposed so this is the new thing that I've been doing Tropic Isle Living Jamaican Black Castor Oil yes so I used this, um, I just poured some in my hand and then I just took my finger and rubbed it in all the parts that were exposed and all around the perimeter of my hairline. At that point I started like massaging my scalp and I was like, this stuff stinks. <laughs> it stinks so bad. I heard that you can put like, oh, like I have this um, lavender oil. I didn't add this into it, but I heard that if you use lavender oil in there, it'll take the smell away a little bit. Um, so yeah, so I really massaged my scalp and it felt so good. And then I put my scarf on, I fished for all of my um, twists, and I wrapped them around um, so they're like stretched a little bit. And I just kept my twist in all day yesterday and... Um, Today, I took them down, separated them. Um, of course, I had to use my hair pick and just fluffed out the hair. And what I did differently with my pick is I actually bent my hair over and picked with my head upside down. And that gave me bigger hair at the top. Um, but I didn't pick the bottom too much because I want the bottom to actually lay down or go straight down. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. And, you know, I always use Allocate Natural products, but, you know, I haven't used them all in that method. Usually when I'm doing the lock method, I'll use like coconut oil or for the cream, I'll use like Entwine Couture. But I've never just used like all allocate naturals for my everyday hair but I'm very tempted to make this like my staple products as far as styling because this is freaking ridiculous and my hair has been like this all day I can't even stop looking at myself I have went I have went ham on Instagram you guys um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it, um, but I posted this video. And I posted another picture. Instead of posting a whole bunch of pictures, I just posted that. But then here's the other video when I first took it down and I was like going crazy. Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. I had to come to you guys with this video because, oh my god, this is like, oh my god, like the best twist out ever. Um, so I just couldn't upload a picture. The way that I layered the products, oh my god, it's just... I talk about it all the time, but for some reason, this layering with all of Alake just worked. And, you know, that's why when I do videos on here, I usually stick with the same collection through the whole video because, I mean, those products work well together. They're made to work well together. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't know. I just hope that I inspire someone if you are in that awkward stage if your hair is a little bit shorter than mine and you just are going through it just know that it's just a phase you're gonna get out of that phase um, and you're gonna get to a length where you're just satisfied with it and you don't care you're not gonna start stressing over length or anything you're just gonna be at a place where you're like you know what I love my hair and you know I don't care if it grows or not I'm gonna love it so <laughs> I don't know I just really hope that this touched someone because it was like so spare spur of the moment type of filming um, like I said I still am gonna film my other video to give you some inspiration but this 
<laughs> this hair this hair I hope this inspires you because I am freaking inspired I inspire myself <laughs> and I'm sorry if I'm bragging but I freaking love my hair today like this is the most that I have loved my hair ever like oh my gosh like oh my gosh <laughs> alright but anyway you guys thank you guys so much for watching and remember just enjoy your journey no matter which part of the journey you're at because you're gonna look back one day and wish that you took advantage of that phase like I miss my TWA days I hated them when I was in them but now I look back at pictures and I'm like oh my god I wish I still had that length so just you know just love the phase that you're in and happy growing natural is beautiful natural is inspiring it's powerful so just enjoy it okay you guys no perm talk no just stay on the journey okay and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and goodbye <laughs> yeah. see you